Welcome to the Mindful Mondays podcast, weekly reflections and meditations to start your week right. With your host, author, meditator, and founder of Mind, Body, and Spirit Entrepreneur, Rachel Thompson. Good morning, meditators. Welcome back to the Mindful Mondays podcast, and welcome to day three of our Mindfulness Challenge. If you are joining us for the first time, I encourage you to go back two episodes and check out the first day of our Mindfulness Challenge. And now it doesn't matter when you're listening to this, you can start it whenever is convenient for you. And in today's episode, and for your challenge, we are going to be focusing on having mindful conversations. Anytime you have a conversation with somebody today, I want you to be mindful throughout the entire experience. Some people are a lot better at this than others, but for some of you, you'll know who I'm, what I'm talking about. How often have you met somebody for the first time and completely forgot their name within seconds of them telling you, and you don't want to be a doofus and ask for their name again after they just told you? It happens to me. I know a lot of other people who this happens to. We're going to try and prevent this by becoming mindful. So I want you to listen to everything being said without thinking how you're going to respond in the conversation. Also be mindful when you are the one talking. If anything said by another elicits a feeling, just note it and be mindful of what thoughts prompted that feeling. Do not, however, allow this to take away from you being mindful during the conversation. So you just want to note the experience and you can reflect on it after the conversation. And I did mention during the first day that it is a great idea to keep a journal throughout all of this because when you live mindfully, you can have incredible epiphanies. It can really be life-changing this process, but it's hard to remember everything. So it's a great idea to just jot it down on a piece of paper in a journal, on your tablet, on your phone, (laughs) keep track of it some way. And you want to do this during conversations. For example, if today you're talking to a coworker about your boss and this conversation elicits some anger in you, make a note of it and do your best to bring your awareness and your full attention back to that present conversation instead of focusing on your thoughts. Now, after your conversation, think about what exactly was said and the thoughts that came up that caused the anger. So just a little side note, tomorrow there will be more discussion and time to practice this technique. So you'll have to check in and see what that is. But how many times, especially during an argument or any sort of conversation that elicits strong feelings, how many times have you gotten lost in your own thoughts when another person is talking? I know this happens a lot with couples, with families. They don't feel heard. They don't feel understood because one person says something that elicits a strong emotion in the other person, and then that person checks out of the conversation because they're really involved in what they're feeling in that moment. It's good to become aware of this, to know what that person said, why it elicited certain feelings, what's going on, but then also be able to bring yourself back to the conversation. Like I said, after it's done, make a note of it. You can do some exploration after, but during the conversations, be as mindful as you can. Now, if others are having a conversation around you, but you're not an active participant, so maybe you hear it whenever you're on the subway or, you know, you're in the lunchroom and you're just hanging out and a couple of the coworkers are having a conversation. What you can do in these situations is listen without placing any judgments or thoughts on what you hear. Allow the words others are saying to enter and exit your awareness without holding onto one piece of anything they said. So how often do we listen, and some of us enjoy listening to other people's conversations when we're not a part of it, so that we can judge, and we can place judgment on what they're saying. The more judgment you put on others, the more judgment you put on yourself in the long run, the more fear you have of others judging you. That's why we want to release all that and just mindfully be in all situations without that added judgment. And judgments will probably pop in. Let them float out. And you're really going to release yourself from a lot of negativity by getting in the practice of this. That is it for today. Short and sweet and simple. Hopefully you have a journal or something handy. And I would love to know how this impacts the conversations you have with people. And if it's something that you can make a habit of, 
I would love to know how this impacts your relationships. If you've not yet subscribed to this podcast or if you've not yet reviewed, I would love if you could do that. Let me know what you think. Let me know if what I'm saying and what we're covering resonates with you or if it doesn't and let me know what you would like instead. So good luck mindfully conversating today and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to Mindful Mondays with Rachel, a mind, body and spirit entrepreneur production. If you enjoyed today's episode, head over to www.mymbse.com for more free resources and trainings. Don't forget to subscribe, rate and give us a review. And join us next week for a brand new meditation and reflection.